My name is Tendai, and I don't camouflage. My power number is a three or a one, and I'm connected a lot to asymmetrical things or things that are not as balanced. And the triangle of just the power of three, I, I really respect that a lot in spiritual terms, in religious terms. There's something about the triangle and this constant recycling of life, recycling of energy that I've always felt really connected to, compared to a circle where it's, it's a continuous movement or motion or a square. I just think the power of the three, of constantly hitting those moments of like the beginning, middle, and end, have always been something that I've been really connected to. When I've taught classes or things like that, I think of imagining like the tip of your fingers were all spray cans and there are different colors that shoot out at each fingertip. And so if you could paint the walls or you could paint the ceiling or you could write your name in the sky or you could draw an art or a piece of art with, your, with just the tips of your fingers, like what would that look like? How would that design go? How do you engrave yourself in the space that you're in and carve out that space or slice through it or circle within it? I think of just constantly hitting these points and moments of gravity, these points of space, what I'm reaching towards, what I'm looking at, and how it's like a continuous motion of contact so that there's no, there's no end, but there's also not a clear beginning and there's just this constant, just like, like the triangle, like this constant moment of like recycling this energy where just when it's there, it starts another triangle and then another one. So it's like almost creating like a collage of, of movement in a space, but statements. I wasn't counting. I was just, I was breathing a lot. I think because I'm a vocalist, I naturally scat. And I've had to accept the fact that I can't, it's hard for me to sing without dancing and it's hard for me to dance without singing. And I had to understand and respect the fact that that is a gift and that is part of who I am. So I think when I'm freestyling or dancing like that and just exploring, there is kind of a, a inner metronome or uh, a melody that comes. I don't know what exactly it is. I can't identify what the song is. It's just like a melody and it may come from a song that I'm familiar with and then grow into like something else that I just heard and then go into something that's like percussion from a band or a drummer and then sound like a saxophone. So it's, it's nothing specific, but it is like a combination of breathing and listening to the breath and the melodies that come out of that breath and then the sounds that I'm hearing in the environments that I'm in. I'm a person that I can't be informed by that and not have it ricochet through my body. There's always just like a, a response that happens, even if it's really small. I identified a lot with Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughan and even musicals like Gypsy. I used to go with my mom to a jazz club growing up in Buffalo, New York. There was a singer there, her name was Dodo Green. Even though she had been performing there for years and years and years, you know, I was young, it was something about her that I felt like I really connected to, like this rawness of her soul, but then the beauty and the elegance that she still put on top of it. I always felt like I had a very old soul. Even ever since I was young, I've still, I've always felt like there was a part of me that's been here before. There was a part of it that I think I took for granted with traveling a lot ever since 
I can remember. I've always just kind of felt like a global citizen. No matter where I am in the world, I've always been able to find a way to adapt. I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. I think the good thing about it was that I was always able to find connections in people of different cultures and find the beauty in all, in all of it in one way or another in a way to connect to it. What was troublesome about it was I was too used to bouncing around so much that when I was still, there were moments that I think growing up didn't allow me to always tap into my true self because I was too busy trying to find moments of where I could fit in with this or that because I had been used to doing that since I was traveling. It's been a really amazing thing to be able to grow up and constantly see parts of the world that I never would have known any other time. And then you also think that everybody does this and to even people that have never traveled the world like that. Being able just to have that global connection to people and how to communicate, how to survive, how to take care of yourself, how to travel, and is, it gives a, a certain independence that I think I'm really thankful for. I think I'm still finding my true self. Constantly identify who or what I don't want to be what is really serving with purpose and positivity in my life and how I'm bringing that into my life or not. Through meditation, through yoga, through prayer, through talking to myself. Not be afraid of your own greatness and really step into your true power and surround yourself with people that see that in you, respect that about you, hold you accountable for it and not let you forget who you are, even through their eyes. I think all of those come into play with helping me continuously find myself. <laughs>